Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to start a new area of Power BI, that is Artificial Intelligence and Power BI relationship. First chapter is using natural language to ask questions. Please like, comment and subscribe my channel. Okay, let's go. Our chapter name is related to natural language. Here natural language is English. In Power BI, we know there are some visuals which are related to artificial intelligence. Out of them, one is Q&A visual. Okay, so how will I get this Q&A visuals? First option is this: uh, go to this visualization tab and you can select this Q&A. This is one option. Another option is just go to insert tab and you can go to this AI visuals and click on this Q&A. And the third option is if you double click on this report canvas area, automatically this Q&A visuals will be open. Let me do that. I'm doing this double click and it is opening this Q&A visuals. Now, if you type like this total cells, then you, how will you find out? If you type total cells, you can observe in my data model, I have different type of cells related information. So when I'm typing total cells, I'm getting so much, so many options, okay, related to this cells value. So for that, I'm selecting only one measure total cells. So this is the first report I'm showing you. Let me go to the another example. If I go to this page, let me show you. Here I have typed total cells by category. Let me show you again here. If I type total cells by category, you can observe I am getting two options and I am selecting total cells by category. So here I have one major column and another is dimension column okay so i'm getting this type of reports also now i'll show you another example where i will select one measure one dimension with filter condition how will you get that let me do the double click and type total cells by category for 2016 you can find out i'm getting different type of option 2016 from the ship date or order date or date table or other other columns also let me select this one so i'm getting this q a visuals okay and this record is related to our uh, this filter condition by the category now, how will I convert this Q&A visual to a standard visual? Standard visual means bar chart, line chart or pie chart. So, if I click on this area, here you can observe, turn this Q&A result into a standard visual. If I click this area, let me click on this and it is automatically selected to a clustered bar chart and you can observe here filter condition is also added 2016 okay and all the other the formatting condition all other the field conditions are available now it is converted to a simple clustered bar chart here you can observe i have typed total cells by city by map okay i have mentioned this map view here let me remove this map view and you can observe if I remove this, you can find out total cells by city is available. Let me enter. Now the simple bar chart is available. But I want to display this bar chart in a map view option. How will I do that? Just type by map. And you can find out the map view is available. Similarly, if I want to display a different uh, table version. I can do that also. 
if I type here table, the table view will be available. Now by default, this map view is not coming. Just because of that, in my data set, I don't have this latitude and longitude information, okay, which I need for this uh, section. I don't have that information so that's why by default it is taking the CT value as a, a bar chart but if I uh, write down by map it will take the map view so there is another example now I will show you another option for QA button what is that you just go to this insert tab go to this element section click on this button and here you can find out this QA button. If I click on this, this QA button will be visible. And this button will have different type of format section. We are already aware of all those things. But what is the purpose of this? How will I use this option? If you could press control and click, then automatically another QA dialog box will be appear and what is the purpose of this dialog box now we can type total cells for example you can write down total cells okay now we can observe here i can find out the report but we cannot uh, embed this uh, q a dialog box in our report view then what is the purpose of this button we can embed this Q&A button in our report page so that if user wants to find out some information so they can use this uh, feature. Let me show you another example. For example, uh, in how many, what type of word we can use for this Q&A visuals? There are some categorization. We have observed that we can type total. So this type of aggregated word we can use. For example, total, uh, some average count like this also we can uh, uh, write top versus this type of word also we can use another is already we have observed by map by bar by table so this type of visual type also we can uh, based on the visual type also we can find out the result and uh, also we have observed we can provide some filter conditions 2016 we have provided so our searching criteria will be based on this type of keywords I would say let me show you another example in my data model I have profit information but I don't have any word like loss now whenever I'm typing this loss I'm getting this error message now how will I so but in our profit data I have some negative values also positive values and negative values so we are aware that negative values is nothing but our loss information okay then how will I solve this problem let me go to this model view okay select this profit column and you can find out here is options synonyms synonyms we know our English word what is a synonym so here we will do comma and type loss now let me change the column name also so that it will be meaningful okay now if i go back to our report view section you can find out uh, my error is not visible here i'm getting profit and loss informations so now you can understand that in your data model if all these major related informations are already available then you can type all the keywords in your QA visuals and you can display all the results. If some data is, uh, keywords is not available, you can do like in this synonyms way. But there could be possible, there are some other questions you want to set up in your report area, which will be particularly for a project or for a particular user. Then how will you do this QA setup? Okay, you need to go to model okay this modeling area here you can find out this q and a section and here you have q and a setup also language setup is there linguistic schema is also there mainly we are using this q and a setup if you click on this q and a setup and this dialog box will be appeared 
Yeah, you, you have a different type of setup here. If you click on this teach Q and A here, you can add your questions and submit. Then next time when you are going to this Q and A visuals and you can type this question and you will get the answer. So this way you can set up a new set of questions and answers. Okay. I hope you like this uh, tutorial. Please comment and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.